One of the biggest secrets in becoming a great communicator is to be a great listener. There are so many factors that decide how someone communicates. It can depend on what your first language is, where you grew up, or how your close friends and family communicated to each other. It could also depend on how comfortable you are with direct language, or what words are in your vocabulary. When all of those factors are at play, effective communication can be really tricky. Working on your communication skills by starting on your listening skills will help you communicate more effectively. And this is because a big part of communicating is understanding. When you listen to someone and truly understand them, that's one way you know that communicating was successful. It's not just about hearing all the other person's words. I don't know about you, but I can hear someone's words but not understand them. So the trick that I learned to help with that is something called playback. This is when you hear someone's words, pause, and play back to them with your own words to say what you thought they meant. Here's an example. So, how's everything going with the algorithm? Think we'll be ready to ship next week? Oh yeah, for sure. We just need uh, like two more days for the flim flam, and then a couple more days after that for the gizmo. I guess, yeah, the doodad, so a couple more days for that. And then we're totally done. Sounds like it's gonna take at least six days to finish up the gizmo, the flim flam, and the doodad, is that right? Oh yeah, and I guess testing, now that we're listing it all out. Right, so do you think it's fair to push things back a week? I don't wanna put you under too much stress. Yeah, now that you mentioned it, that'd be great. Now, the key here being that Jarvis started the sentence with, it sounds like. That allows Jarvis to repeat back what he heard in his own words to make sure he's understanding correctly. Oh, all right, got it, thanks. I love this playback method because using your own words to explain what you thought the other person meant demonstrates true understanding. Also, it gives the other person a chance to correct you if your understanding was incorrect, which can be especially valuable. Now, this example is very simplified, but I found this trick to be useful in technical conversations and nuanced topics where each person might use very different words from one another to explain something. Here's a couple more tips for how to be a great listener. Allow other people to finish their thoughts before adding yours. Try not to interrupt them as they're completing their thought. And use positive body language. This shows that you're listening and that you're engaged. When great listening happens, both sides walk away from the conversation with more value and meaning and leave feeling accomplished, understood, and empowered. It's very common in software engineering to be in settings where effective communication is really important. Maybe you're solving a problem together with your teammate or maybe you're gaining perspectives on how something should be built. Or maybe you're talking about your worries about your current career trajectory to your manager. These are all situations in which effective communication is really important because in all these scenarios, it's vital that everyone involved understands each other's meanings and intentions. I hope these tips and tricks for improving your listening will help you learn to become a better communicator. Thanks for watching.